Here is our tongue. <laughs> oh my. It is easy to tell which one of these shoulders is fake. What you might not realize, the other one is real, and it's being used to teach biology students like Jason Grigla. But it takes a, a little while to get used to the fact that you're looking at something that looks like a very real person, and it is from a real person. Glendale Community College students taking anatomy and physiology classes study real human body parts. They were preserved using a process called plastination. JCC biology professor Justin York uses plastinates in his lab class. Plastination is basically replacing the, uh, the water and the fat after dissection with this uh, kind of plastic material uh, that can be hardened. Once preserved, plastinates are non-toxic, odorless, and can last for a long time. GCC is the only public institution in the valley using these unique teaching tools. Nostrils, basically, and we've entered the nasal cavity. Griglis says he likes them more than the typical plastic model. They're not as clean, they're, they're, they're messy, all the parts are pushed together, so it gives a real life version or model. York says these real parts allow students to see physical variations in human anatomy. There's kind of a wow factor versus, you know, just looking at a piece of, of you know, plastic model. They get to see, wow, this is someone's arm. Grigla says using the real thing can spark a student's imagination. They remind you of turkey jerky. Students may joke about the appearance of the parts, but insist learning about the body with plastinates is an art because each one is different. In Glendale, Laura Palmisano, Cronkite News. The infraspinatus, which is one of the rotator cuff muscles.